they seem like they've got the advantage. Yeah, they really do. I've got to ask you though, it's, it's five four. Do you reckon it is going to be Finland for the Winland, or do you reckon Enigma are going to lock this down and take this victory? You just wanted to say Finland for the Winland. I Winland, did. did. <laughs> I you really just did. want to say Finland for the Winland. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I can never count out Skit Light. Uh, I don't know why. I'm I'm kind of fanboying Enigma right now. I think it's MARs, but you know it what? We're going to jump on board, capture the flag on lockdown. So here we go. We are actually on board with Enigma. I'm going to jump on board with an SMG. Let's have a look. Let's jump on board with Joxy. Let's have a look at Joxy making his rush mid map, actually choosing to use the UMP. And he is going to try and get that nade off to his left as FMF gets nearly killed out on Dizzy. He's just going to try and check that corner, just get a few shots. And once again, you look at his sensitivity, it seems to be so high. Zeb does finally shut down FMF though, and he is going to come into contact with someone. But what a nice play by Joxy, takes down Moftia, and he is going to try and get his assault on this flag. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be so interesting to see these teams come over to EGL7. Enigma already confirmed that they're coming over. I believe Skitlight, when we were talking to Sambi earlier, said they also want to come over to the UK and play in EGL. So it'd be really good to see these going against the top teams. Yeah, absolutely. They seem to be playing so well at this event, both teams. And right now, I'm currently still on board with Joxie's very stunned advice. Does get dropped by FMF. And Zeb spawns in at church, so we know right now Skitlight are going to be all over that Manny side. And Zeb just checking underground, smart play by Zeb, he's going to try and get that Semtex off. That should connect with the kill, no! It doesn't actually, yes it does, so nice, nice play. And we default oh, Skitlight, Skitlight shutting down Enigma there, Enigma needs to start locking down this map, start locking in the spawn trap. This actually looking for people in their spawn. I'm wondering whether he should have pulled that or whether he should have just tried and maybe lock the spawn down, clear the map out so they can get this flag home, rather than just pulling it. Yeah, he probably should have gone for that spawn trap. Just maintain that map control and see if they can get a few players down. But I'm going to get on board with Henke. He's actually going to be using his SMG. He actually has just dropped to Juna, so I'm defaulted over to Zebi now. And he has just thrown that Semtex. Is that going to connect? Doesn't look like it. The blue car is on fire, though. Still didn't connect. And he knows there's going to be a player somewhere around here. He's just looking like he's going in hot pursuit. But obviously, Enigma are on this good side right now. They really need to try and make it count. Three minutes, 18 gone. Still nil-nil. You know what, it looks like neither team is giving the other one chance to breathe. Every time a flag gets pulled, it's being returned like that again. I'm not totally sure what's going on in the game plan here. It looks like, like I said, they probably need to try and lock this down first before pulling that flag. Yeah, but it just seems to think about panicking a little bit. I'd hate to say it, but it does look like, I mean, Joxy right now, he's 5-3. and three. The rest of his teammates just struggling to get off the 1-2 and two mark as we're on board with Dizzy now, and he is going to see Moff Jet. Nice, easy kill for him, and the flag has been pulled by Skitlight. Looks like that's probably going to be run fire, but Joxy comes down with a two-piece. Nice, nice play, and gets a return, and Dizzy is going to try and run this flag once again. Does get heavily stunned, though, and he's going to have to challenge this, and oh, Juna's nice clutch play once again. Skitlight were actually three down in, but their entire team is back up, and Dizzy looks like he's going to run it. It looks like all ARs are just having anybody run this flag here, as obviously Enigma going to try and lock this map down now. Not in the best positions to do it, as obviously, oh, there you go, he actually gets Gets caught. Yeah, FMF with a nice two piece takes down Zeb and Joxy. And Dizzy with a little bit of work to do now. He's going to try and get that stun off. And the Semtex, nice play, takes down Judas. Can he drop to this church and get the second? He knows someone's there. He has actually dropped now. If that player runs the flag through fire, he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, here we go. Obviously, I'm on board with Dizzy at the moment. As he probably looks like he's going to go back and defend, takes out Mofja. These Enigma team don't seem to be setting up great at the moment. I don't know whether that's just because Skitlight are not giving them the opportunity. Yeah, two minutes still to play, and Enigma just not finding the groove of things right now. Their AR's not able to outslay, it seems. And oh, Skitlight playing so well, just absorbing all the pressure and just throwing it straight back at them. Every time Enigma get a few kills, Skitlight respond immediately. And I'm on board now with Joxy, who was just heavily stunned bottom art, making his way up top art. And once again, he's going to go to this top lines area. Not the most ideal place to be if you are using your SMG, but he's going to try and get a few spawn kills there and does get dropped by Sammy, I believe, who is immediately going to get dropped by Zeb as he goes back up top art and gets dropped by FMF. You know what, Joxy actually going 10 for 5 with that SMG. And also, some people on the stream have noticed he is using melee on it. Not something you usually see you especially on a UMP, uh, so interesting the way he's playing, but he is going huge for his team. And you know what, I'm going to call it right now, already MVP of the tournament. Yeah, you've got to, I've got to agree with you there, he's had such a solid tournament. Every single game we've seen him play very well, he's shown his ability to mix it up with his AR, his SMGs, he's just playing so very well, but you've got to say, 53 seconds, still nil-nil, Enigma not able to capitalise on this good side of CTF Lockdown.
No, they are not going to be happy with this scoreline. They probably want at least two flags just to make sure they have a cushion. Seeing what Skitlo can do, but you know, oh, this looks like it's going to be a flag ball here. Look at that, but no, Moff is there to stop them again. Moff oh. with a two piece. Zebby's going to try and pull this away on his own. 34 seconds, and now he gets oh. shut down again. These Skitlo team are giving them no room to manoeuvre. Yeah, Skitlo are just clamping down on absolutely everything Enigma throw at them, and then we're just not able to break out, and this is what I was on about. It seems every time Enigma get one map away from winning, they seem to just have a trouble getting over that final hurdle, so to speak. But Dizzy, nice play, takes down Sambi. 13 seconds left, though. Not going to be enough time for either team to pull. And it is first half is going to end 0-0. Zero, zero. Yes, that is going to be 0-0. Zero, zero, and Enigma are going to be disappointed with that scoreline. That is not the scoreline you want to see when you are on the good side. And you know what? Skitlight, I've got to go into this second half feeling fairly confident. Yeah, absolutely. It wouldn't surprise me now if this goes to 5-5 five, five in maps. We've seen Skitlight on this map before. They are just completely ruthless on the good side of lockdown. And I'm going to be interested to see how Enigma are going to play this. Are they just going to either try and get a stalemate or are they just going to play for 0-0 zero, zero, just go all out defence? But we will change team, get on board with the Skitlight boys. And all they need now is one flag and they can potentially win. I'm going to guess here. I reckon you're going to see Enigma probably play with that passive AR they seem to favour so much. Probably sitting around Ivy. And I think they're probably going to end up going for that stalemate. Um, you know what, a stalemate would benefit them here because they could go defence and almost never get that flag out. Yeah, they, they do seem to enjoy that sort of passive game plan, but if Skitlight can get their hands on that flag, there is just going to be no turning back for Enigma. I honestly can't see Enigma getting their foot in on this bad side, so to speak, because if Skitlight start getting into the groove of things and start playing the way that we've seen them play, Enigma are going to be in a lot of trouble. I mean, we've seen lots of kills being exchanged right now. Enigma are actually getting two players down, and that is going to be three down. Pressure on FMF. He is going to take down one turn, and he's going to see someone caught you. Can he get the two piece? Yes, he can. Nice, nice play coming from FMF. Yeah, you know what? FMF probably slowed down Enigma enough there that that flag did not get pulled away, but this and Hengi picking up another two kills. Sambi, the only one left here. Yeah, he's just going to try and throw that nade down those stairs. Does connect with a hit marker, but gets immediately dropped by Henke. Henke's going to try and pull that flag. So completely against what we were saying. And Enigma just going all out aggression. And it is going to be left to Moffjay. He's all by himself. He has a good map placement, but it seems like Henke's actually run that church. Not sure why when they had map control. Moffjay's going to say, thank you very much. I'll get that return. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a mistake there. Like you said, they did have map control. He could have run that through the corridor or just down the middle of main. Uh, but I don't know what they're going to do here. Moffjay looking like he's going to go for the... Oh, no, it gets taken out. This is all over the place. These two teams are just tearing chunks out of each other, but Enigma are three down. Yeah, it doesn't seem like either team is sticking to a normal strategy. I think maybe Henke thought, oh, I'll just try and run through church, see if I can catch them off guard. But like you say, both teams just ripping chunks out of each other right now. It's still nil-nil. And if anyone can cap this flag, I believe Skitlight have actually pulled that flag. It's Junazon who has that flag. And Sambi was trying to give him support. Does actually get dropped by Joxy. And Moffjan needs to try and make that kill, but that flag is going to go in. That flag has gone in, and now Skitlight have the advantage completely. Only three minutes left if they can hold on to this. Enigma now going to have to just ramp up the aggression. Yeah, I honestly can't see a one flag cap lead being enough, if I'm honest. Skitlight have actually managed to get two down. And it's going to be four on two, but can Junas break out of fire? He's just thinking that maybe someone is going to be in that corridor, pre-aiming a little bit, but hasn't seen anyone just yet, but it has just seen someone die underneath him. Great play by Junas, and awareness takes down Henke. Yeah, there he goes. Gets in there, gets to the two-piece. It looks like they could be setting up to try and pull another flag now. If they do pull another flag, that is going to be horrific for Enigma. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Oh, Junas so nearly... Got a nice kill there, but Sambi turns, takes down Henke. You're going to see someone in Corridor. Nice play by Sambi. Uh, hasn't actually got that kill. Very weak in Corridor. Not entirely sure how he didn't die, but he's managing to do his best to stay alive as Zeb takes down Moftia. Still both flags on base. Three versus three at the minute. Someone has just pointed out to me that if Skitlight actually win this, it's going to be decided on an S and D. That's actually true. It will. Oh, oh, that's going to be very interesting. And Enigma set up on S and D. I've got to say, it probably favours them. Yeah, it probably does favour them. I mean, S and D can be quite sweaty at the best of times <laughs> when you're playing for number one spot at EGL in the grand final. I imagine that is going to be the most nerve-wracking situation you could put yourself in. Yeah, so especially when you've got you know several hundred people watching you every single move. But as it stands, Skitlight only have two players up. Moffjo is making his assault on this flag. One minute thirty-six. Do you reckon this one flag is going to be enough for Skitlight? Yeah, you know what, I think it probably will be. You know what, they'll probably pull because obviously an offense is the best form of defense. But I just don't know what they're going to do here. It looks like they do keep tracking back, yeah. determined not to let them get done. Yeah, Moffja actually just took shots from his own teammate, which is one of the reasons he died. Sambi, though, nice awareness, turns, takes down Zeb. But 1 minute 14 pressure on Skitlight not to choke as this pulls that flag. 
And Moffjin needs to make something happen right here for Skitlight. Like, he's going to see two in fire. He's going to try and get that stun off, but FMF. Oh, that was an amazing shot. You know what? This flag is so close to being home. Skitlight like Junas can stop it, though. He is going to be here. He needs to stop this oh, flag. He does. Oh. That could have been, you know what? That could have been the winning moment for Skitlight like, because now they're going to count the cap. And Enigma worked so hard to get that flag home. Yeah, that was absolute clutch play by Junas. And he's just trying to get it out. But no, Henke right behind him. Picks him off. Nice, nice play by Henke. And the flag has been returned. 40 seconds and Skitlight are going to be so nervous right now. But FMF taking some pressure off. Gets two down. Dizzy responds by taking down Moffjit. Sambi is getting to be called a nice play. Gets a shot off on Dizzy. And a little bit of pressure relief for Skitlight. Yeah, Skitlight now can't be that worried about here. Enigma looked like they are just running towards the flag. It's never good to try and lose cohesion and your game plan in the last second of the game. As that happens, Sambi with a two-piece. Moffjit taking down one more. Uh, he's got to be run literally now for this to go home. Yeah, it's not going to happen now for Enigma, and it is going to go to five maps apiece. It is going all the way to the wire. Once again, between these two teams, absolutely inseparable. And, oh, that's a nice knife by Moffjit. And I have to say, you know, I said it before this game started, Enigma, they've had the lead twice and choked. Do you reckon it's going to happen for the third time? Oh, I just don't know. <laughs> this, this is unbelievable. You know what, Joxy, 25 for 13 in that game. FMF doing work for his team as well, 28 for 18. Right, you know what, we need to quickly go to a commercial break, so we will see you on the final map of this grand final. Please tweet the stream out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final map of this grand final. Search and destroy on underground. This is Skitlight Finland versus Enigma here. Uh, I am Bryce and I am joined by Ben Bowman. Say hello, Ben. Hello and welcome to EGL6 grand final. Last map currently tied. Five maps apiece. It has gone all the way. We are on board with Enigma and this is going to be a very, very sweaty SD if you've ever seen one before. This is going to be all or nothing for these teams here. Every kill is going to count. Every bullet and every bomb plant all comes down to an S and D. You know what? That almost feels wrong that everything over this weekend comes down to this. Yeah, it does. But I, th I kind of think it's going to be a nice way to decide between these two teams. Um, CTF has been so close. And S and D has been so close as well. So to be honest, this could literally be as lucky as a flip of a coin toss. It's completely 50-50 in my opinion. Enigma, we did just touch on it before, that quick advert. They've managed to choke the lead twice, and in a way, I really don't want to see him do it three times, but I'd feel so bad for Skitlight, obviously having beaten Enigma twice already. I, it's going to be so tough to decide. You know what? Usually when it comes to a game, you can kind of guess who's going to win, especially when you get all the way to a final. Obviously, wow, Junior's picking up that last kill. But you know what? In this, Ben, I genuinely cannot figure out who's going to win. <laughs> this is absolutely anybody's game. I have literally no idea. Yeah, I'm completely the same, and you know this is going to be some very nerve-wracking times for both teams as Skitlight do take that first round, have a, a big, big advantage going into this grand final. I'm, I feel so nervous for these two teams. I'm not even in Sweden, but I'm, I can feel the nerves just by watching the way that these guys are playing, but we'll stay on board with Enigma. They have just lost that first round of S&D. You're right, Ben. I am fully on that land hype. I am not even there, and I am so nervous and excited to see this game. I don't want either team to lose. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Zeb just got completely taken down by FMF on board with Dizzy. He's going to try and get that nade off at A. He needs to see if that's going to connect. He gets a hit marker, though, and he is going to have to need to challenge it, but he doesn't want to. You can just tell he does not want to have to try and challenge that. Gets a few shots, doesn't connect. Henke counts down. Mofja, Dizzy just going to try and blow up that truck. It looks like he gets challenged. gets taken down by FMF's knife. That's a huge kill by FMF. But Joxy able to take him down two versus yeah, two. Joxy doing work again there. FMF also doing work for his team. Interesting to see this has gone back to two versus two for Enigma. And you know what? Joxy playing very, very slowly. He isn't going to push into that A, but he also isn't going to go. Oh, he looks like he's just going to slide in. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that so far this weekend of just people trying to snake the corners, etc. But Joxy's had such a fantastic event and he is going to know. Junas, oh my God, shuts down Joxy. And sh again, Enigma on the back foot. And, oh, it's all going to come down to Hanky. One versus two. You know what? I thought he was going to go for a knife there just to reflect. Uh, how on earth did he get that kill on him, though? I think he had... Oh, did they just see each other there? I know Hanky saw him. I don't know if he saw Hanky. Hanky is going to get for that chance. Oh, He's shot no. already. No! Oh, oh. It's be a joke. oh, he gets the kill. <laughs> Risky stuff coming from Hanky right there. Oh, no! And gets oh. shut down by Sambi. Oh, this is looking very good for Skitlight in this grand final. Sambi playing very well, kept his cool and managed to shut down Henke. 
Look at that very nice play there. He's just trying to get away. He knew that obviously Sambi's going to know exactly where he was, but he just could not get away quick enough. And we're going to go ahead and change team and get on board with the Skitlight boys who look like they're going to try and wrap this up as quickly as possible. Yeah, they are playing incredibly well as we do jump on board with them. Oh, we're going to see what they can do here. Obviously, I am currently on board with Sambi, who is having a quite good game. Two for one at the moment. But you know what I want to join on board with? I want to join on board with FMF, who is actually having a really good final. Yeah, he's had such an amazing few games. Sambi is going to take down Joxy. And this is looking really bad for Enigma right now in this grand final. Obviously, Skitlight already have those first two rounds. And <laughs> they have that one-man advantage as well. And you just FMF just checking as many corners as possible. Frantic play. You can just feel the pressure just by watching the way that he's moving around. But they just need to take the time now. Obviously, they are on defense. They don't need to rush. They've got the one-man advantage. They need to force Enigma to do something. And we know from watching Enigma previously, they don't like having to make that first move. Yeah, they need to play their own game here. Like you said, it'll be very, very tempting with all that adrenaline dumping into their system to act rashly. They're just going to keep a cool head and play their own game. That's a really nice spot FMF is using as well. I don't know if you just picked up on that. He's completely covered by that sign to his left, and he's just covering that B-bomb. So that's, a, a and again, a really nice spot being used by FMF. But I'm actually going to go ahead and change play, get on board with Junas. He's actually made his way all the way into the enemy spawn, has actually smashed glass. Not sure why he's done that. That will obviously give away his position to Enigma, but it seems to be some sort of gunfight over on that A bomb site. Not sure who that was, but 1 minute 17, Enigma need to make a move, and they need to make a move now. Yeah, you know what? I've actually jumped the ball with FMF again, as he is actually moving forward and using a very good nade spot there. Lying on the floor and throwing it through. Clearly something he's practiced, but not able to pick up that kill. Uh, Scambi taking down Henke, giving the advantage firmly to get like four versus two. Yeah, I really do feel sorry for these two Enigma players. It's going to be Dizzy and Zeb. You know, they're both at the bottom of their team right now, and there's going to be a lot of pressure as Junas takes down Zeb, and it is going to be Dizzy 1 versus 4. I am going to go ahead and change team, get on board with him. This could be the first 1v4. He has got the bomb, 43 seconds. He's going to be very weak back up their spawn. Can he stay alive? Yes, he can. He's going to be called out and Ooh, cannot make that kill. No. It's hit like one round away from being tournament champions. A lot of pressure on them now. You know what? We are going to stay on board with Enigma because they are in an awful lot of trouble. Skitlight have taken three rounds in the search and destroy here. Enigma faltering in the in the face of this pressure. Unbelievable. Yeah. Juno is five for one. Skitlight Sambi four for one. We've got Skit Enigma have got to put something out of the bag. Yeah, they really do. Enigma not having a good S and D, and it's a shame because. It They've set up so well all throughout this tournament, but once again, I did say every time they've played Skit like they've had the lead and they've managed to throw it away. Zeb is in a very nice spot. He is going to get stunned now. He's going to get double stunned as well. Needs to be very careful. Any challenge here, and he's pretty much dead. He's very weak by that Sentex as well. Needs to stay alive. Just move out of the way. Make sure you don't challenge anything for a good few seconds. Yeah, it looks like Enigma maybe playing that slow burning. Oh no, but he gets taken down by FMF, who is rushing forward. I'm on board with Joxy, who's been playing incredibly well this tournament. Uh, possible MVP. Yeah, definitely. He's currently top for Enigma right now. 1 minute 50 still to go there. It is a 3 versus 4 scenario. Joxy just needs to check this bomb, but needs to be careful. He doesn't get taken out. Needs to make that kill. I'm pretty sure he's just seen him planting. Not entirely sure. May not have done that. Maybe in my eyes, but he has definitely seen someone at A now. He's going to engage. That's a beautiful play there by Joxy. Takes down Skit like FMF. That is really going to be Speed, reflexes, accuracy. My God, Joxy has it all. He just took him straight off that head glitch there. Unbelievable pinpoint accuracy to kill him before he even got a shot off. Yeah, he really makes it look so easy. But that is going to take a lot of pressure off Enigma now. It is three versus two as Henke takes down Junas. Could we see a possible comeback right here? Enigma need to just stay calm. Take it one kill at a time. Yeah, they cannot lose their heads here. This is so close. Obviously, they have the advantage and they need to use it completely just to try and get back in this game. You can just see how nervous everyone is just by the way they're playing. Once again, if you just cycle through the players, I mean, Henke just trying to check that B-bomb. Got Joxy all the way in the back of this spawn and Zeb just trying to lock down this fire area. It is three versus two. <coughs> and Moftia both left up against Zeb, Henke and Joxy. Yeah, you can see what they're doing here. Just, like I said, very, very slow burning here from Enigma. You can see them all stopped on the mini-map. So we're going to see what they can do. It looks like, like I said, they're just flicking. They know they don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, I'm on board with Zeb right now. He is in fire using that SMG. 29 seconds left for Skitlight to try and make a move. And it looks like Zeb is going to do a quick bomb check. He has just seen him. He's going to double stun Nade. That Nade should clearly pick him off. Well played there by Zeb. Takes down Sambi. Three versus one. Sambi with... Oh, wow. Zeb with the two-piece. Massive, massive play there by Zeb when it counts. 3-1. Oh, that's going to give Enigma a real boost. That was really, really well played there by Zeb. Yeah, keeps his head there. Just managed to pull out the kill.
you know what? They have kind of they could come back still. If they lose this in the last round, this could be the most ridiculous comeback I have ever seen. Uh, we are going to stay on board with Enigma. Like I said, they've got so much to do. We're actually going to stay on board with them as they push this attack. Yeah, I'm going to get on board with Zeb. He's making his way to the left-hand side. He's, he's using impact now, so we may just see him go for a little warband, maybe. He's just going to pre-aim that corner, and he has to have his accuracy as Enigma take an early lead with a nice nade from Joxy. Once again, Joxy leading from the front. Four versus three, oh and God, he's going to take down Junas as well. Oh, brilliant play from Joxy. You know what? Let's jump on board with Joxy as he does go. He's using that MP7 suppressed with melee. He seems to like putting that on his SMGs. I'm not <laughs> entirely sure why. Yeah, we've seen him use that a few times now. Interesting choice of proficiency, but they have managed to get the bomb down. Joxy does go down to Mofja, though, and I hope to God Enigma have set up well. They have Zeb checking the back, Henke checking one side, and Dizzy checking another. I'm going to get on board with Dizzy as he's in the most advanced uh, place, rather. He has just got stunned. Needs to be careful. That man doesn't blow up, but he's very weak now, though. And if he gets challenged here, he's probably going to die, if I'm honest. Managed to stay alive. Has just seen someone at the corner of his eye, and there's going to be two rushing him. He managed to hit one. Can he take him down? No, oh, Mofja no. turns on him. Enigma, Henke, and Zebby still there, both being very, very slow. They've got to try and get this bomb. It's all down to Zebby here. He needs to do something. Make sure that doesn't go. Zebby needs to push. He, oh, that's very well played there by Zeb. Doesn't matter. He has been killed, but they are not getting that defuse. Zebby did the smart thing. He just wasted as much time as possible. And you can just see how nervous both of these teams are right now. This is turning out to be an amazing grand final. That nade was so, so crucial. He had to get it and get out of the way to make sure that the other player did not have time to get to that bomb and defuse. Uh, do you want to stay on board with Enigma? I'm, you know, I I'm do. so nervous. I we do. I want to stay, on board, stay on board with them. I really do because they're making a massive comeback. They were 3-0 down. They've managed to win two rounds back to back. And I'm on board with Zeb. He's pushing with this PP. Just going to double check A. He's seen lots of stuns raining down. And I've got to say, if Skitlight can get a quick bomb down and oh, that's going to change things up a lot. Mafia with that nade takes down Dizzy. And if Skitlight can get this bomb down at A, Enigma are in real, real trouble. I'm currently on board with Zebby as he does look into that A area, seeing if anybody can just pop round and he will try and take them out. Uh, it's interesting to see Enigma not playing slow burning on this one. They are actually moving around the map completely. Yeah, it's quite a lot of SMGs as well, I believe. Everyone apart from Henke is currently using SMG, and ironically, Henke is their normal SMG runner. But he's pulled out this ACR and it's very nervous. He it seems like he's opted to take this B bomb. And Zeb is trying to take A, and obviously Joxy's going to try and give him some support. 1 minute 39, 3 versus 4. Skit like with that 1 minute advantage, and Joxy, can he get that kill? No! Very, very weak indeed, though, and someone needs to challenge him to try and pick him off. Zeb is right there, and oh, that's going to really see the living life out of Skit like. You know what? Joxy's got to be disappointed. He did not pick up that kill. I thought he had it. The other player looked like he was either planting or maybe pressing YY as he went down there. You see, he saw his body change position. So I'm not totally sure what he was doing. Joxy constantly running back and forth. He's got this idea. No, that bomb has actually gone down. Yeah, Zeb has just stunned someone on that A bomb there. It seems like he's just gone to sit in that corner. And that is going to be one play down. Henke needs to make this kill. He gets dropped as well. One versus four. This could be that clutch we've been waiting for. I don't think he's going to get it there. He jumps in and gets taken down. And that is game, set and match to Skit Light Finland. Skit Light Finland are the champions of this EGL 6 here in Sweden. So congratulations to them. You know what? Played fabulous the whole way through. Uh, Enigma have managed to throw away another advantage. That is just so unfortunate from Enigma, but to be fair, I do think that the best team won. They have, Skitlight have beaten Enigma twice already, and they've just gone and done it for the third time as well. They managed to keep their cool, and FMF 8-2 and two in that grand final S&D. That is amazing, amazing play coming from him. Oh, you know what? It's just unbelievable. This has been probably one of the best finals I have ever seen. Small land, big competition, just unreal. Oh, absolutely crazy, crazy play. Um, that grand final all the way to the last map, it's kind of what it deserved. Every time those two teams have, have met each other, it has gone to the last map. That is absolutely fantastic. Congratulations going to Skitlight for being EGL6 Grand Champions.